Was there any reference of the Irish Terrier in Eric Mariri Mark's novel Three Comrades? Watch till the end, and you will find the answer, my dear friend. The Irish Terrier is a dog breed that originated in Ireland and is one of various terrier breeds. The Irish Terrier is one of the oldest terrier breeds on the planet. The Irish Terrier is a small lively dog that thrives in both rural and urban settings. Its rough red coat shields it from all sorts of surroundings. Hello and welcome to a channel about zoology in general and dogs specifically. My name is Bridazilla and I'm one of the hosts of this channel. I'm going to provide you with all the information about the Irish Terriers. If you like me and the content about lovely animals please subscribe to my channel. I promise, if you stick to the end of this video you will learn a lot. Let us start right now. The ideal Irish Terrier, according to breed standards, is racy, red, and rectangular. An Irish Terrier should have a muscular appearance without being heavy or sturdy. The Irish Terrier's outline is distinct from many other Terriers. The body of the Irish Terrier is proportionately longer than the Fox Terriers, with an inclination toward racy lines. The tail was traditionally docked to around two-thirds of its natural length shortly after birth. The tail should start up quite high, it should not, however, stick straight up or curl over the back or sides of its body. Ears are tiny, and folded forward just above a level of the skull. They should be a shade or two darker than the rest of the coat. The Irish Terrier comes in a variety of colors, including golden red red Wheaton, and Wheaton. Dark red is frequently misunderstood for the only correct color, probably due to the poor quality of Wheaton coats. A little patch of white on the chest is permitted, as it is with many other solid-colored breeds. There should be no white anywhere else. Gray hair may occur on an Irish Terrier as it grows older. The coat should lie flat on the skin, and, while it should be long, it should never be so long that it hides the dog's natural shape. You must get the coat trimmed on a regular basis, which can be costly. The underwool or undercoat, which is the inner layer of the coat, should also be red. The underwool may be difficult to spot for the novice eye. The legs and head of a well-groomed Irish Terrier should have some furnishings. The slightly longer hair on the front legs should create even pillars, whilst the hair on the back legs should only be slightly longer and not clip too close to the skin. Dark brown eyes should be tiny and have a fiery expression. The eyes are framed by neatly trimmed brows. The entire head should be well pigmented. The Irish Terrier should not exceed 48 cm at the withers in most countries, according to breed specifications. Younger generations come closer to the ideal, but there is a drawback. An Irish Terrier that is too little and light-boned loses its racy type. Irish Terriers that weigh only 11 to 12 kg, as stated in the original Kennel Club breed description, are extremely rare. It is okay for a female dog to weigh 13 kg and a male dog to weigh 15 kg. Irish Terriers are active dogs who require and enjoy regular mental and physical challenges, well-trained Irish Terriers can excel in a variety of dog sports, including dog agility. The Irish Terrier is lively but not hyperactive, so it should be able to calm inside the house and be easily revived to full activity. Irish Terriers get along well with diverse humans. They have a strong feeling of loyalty, and it is critical that they have a strong capable leader whom they naturally admire. The majority of Irish Terriers are orchids and can endure rough play to some extent. Irish Terriers require daily exercise, please do not get one, unless you are willing to walk it. They like training, and new activities are easily learned with the use of food and toys as motivation. Irish Terriers are less keen to please people than other breeds, but they are intelligent and like solving puzzles. Consistent, reward-based training from a relaxed authoritative person works best for them. Violence should never be used with any dog breed, instead, use distraction and reward the desired behavior. It's always better to outsmart and seduce, when looking for a trainer, look for someone who has worked with terriers before. When it comes to other dogs, Irish terriers are often dominant. Poorly socialized dogs, like any other dog, might start conflicts, thus early socialization is essential. Most have strong guarding instincts, which, when reined in, make for good alarming watchdogs. Irish terriers have a keen sense of smell and can pick up on an animal or human sense. The Irish Terrier is intelligent and eager to please, yet he can also be stubborn, independent, and tough. Early and consistent socialization, as well as basic obedience training, will help him grow into a well-mannered part of your home who is at ease around family and friends. Training forges a strong link between you and your Irish that lasts a lifetime. Early training should be used and reinforced consistently throughout one's life. The Irish Terrier is a quick-witted, intelligent dog that adapts well to new settings. 
when nurtured with children, this breed gets along pretty smoothly with them and is extremely loyal to his owner. Puppies require solid boundaries in order to mature into responsible adults. The origin of the breed is unknown. It is thought to have descended from British and Irish terrier type dogs, such as the Kerry Blue and Irish Soft Haired Wheaton Terriers in Ireland and the Welsh, Lakeland, and Scottish Terriers in the United Kingdom. It's also possible that the Irish Wolfhound shares bloodlines with the breed. The breed's formal selection procedure did not begin until the late 1800s. They were occasionally shown, sometimes in a single class, sometimes in separate classes for dogs weighing less than and more than nine pounds. In 1879, the first breed club was founded in Dublin. Irish Terriers were the first terriers to be recognised as a native Irish breed by the English Kennel Club, which happened right before the turn of the century. The first Irish Terriers were imported to the United States in the late 1800s and rapidly became popular. Because of its affinity for children, the breed is becoming more fashionable as a family pet. The Irish Terrier code, when properly combed, will protect the dog from rain and cold. A well-cared-for Irish Terrier also doesn't shed. Pet dogs, rather than show dogs, only need to be stripped once or twice a year due to the wiry coat. To keep the coat's weather-resistant properties, it must be stripped by hand or with a non-cutting knife. When done correctly, this causes no harm to the dog. Using the other hand to pull the skin taut above a stripped portion helps, especially where the skin is looser, such as the belly and chest. Use your fingers or a non-cutting knife to never cut the coat. When a coat is cut, it loses its color and becomes softer, reducing its weather resistance. The coat should not be washed too frequently for the same reason, as detergents remove the natural skin oils. The majority of Irish terriers simply need to be washed when they get muddy. When stripping, the dog's coat may be completely removed, leaving the dog in the undercoat until a new coat grows in. This should be done at least twice a year for a pet. When a show-quality coat is required, there are several options. One method is to roll the coat, which entails removing the dog of any dead hair every X weeks. Before display, a professional trimmer is required to shape the head and legs, in particular. The Irish Terrier is a breed that is generally healthy. The average life expectancy is 13-14 years. Because the dimensions aren't exaggerated in any manner, eye or lung issues are uncommon. The majority of Irish Terriers exhibit no evidence of food allergies. Because they are little dogs, hip dysplasia is uncommon in this breed. Owners-to-be should inquire about these two diseases and only cooperate with trustworthy breeders. The Irish Terrier's ears, like those of all breeds, should be checked for symptoms of infection on a regular basis and the teeth should be brushed frequently with a toothpaste made for dogs. Regular vet visits for examinations and parasite control guarantee that the dog has a long and healthy life. The dog quickly pulled away and, passing between my legs, ran barking across our room. Good heavens! Pat exclaimed. This is a real Irish terrier. She was breathlessly happy with the joy. Dash from the Three Comrades novel by Eric Maria e. Mark. Thanks a lot for watching my dear friend. Please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Peace.